You've no doubt heard the term sleep apnea before, and you might even know that it has something to do with not sleeping well. What exactly is sleep apnea? Dr. Ragu Reddy, a pulmonologist with CHI St. Vincent, joins us today. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks Alicia. for being here. And, I'm glad um, to be here. I know a lot of people have heard of this term. Some people have it. Maybe though a lot of people don't know what it is. Can you explain what it is? Yeah, sure. Um, sleep apnea is a condition, you know, when a person stops breathing in his sleep. And this can happen because the upper airway closes, collapses on itself, or something like a, a tongue or a soft tissue gets in the way of breathing. So when you stop breathing, the brain wakes up momentarily. Uh, and so it can happen like numerous times all through the night. Every time you stop breathing, your brain wakes up. So in the morning, you feel like you never slept because your brain never went into that good deep sleep mm. or REM sleep. And so it disrupts your sleep, your sleep in the morning. And it can also have other effects like on your heart, on your brain because of the low oxygen that happens every time you stop breathing. Yeah, I can imagine it'd be pretty exhausting. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You may not even know what's going on though. Can, can you kind of talk about how someone would even know they have sleep apnea? Yeah, snoring is the most common symptom of um, sleep apnea. So if you're snoring, you know, just you better ask your bed partner or your spouse, you know, to observe your, observe your sleep to see if you stop breathing in your sleep. And if you experience any daytime sleepiness or extreme fatigue and symptoms that you cannot explain, like you cannot focus, you cannot concentrate, you know, those are some of the symptoms. You know, the other symptoms are like, you know, when people have other psychiatric problems like depression and you know, ADD and th things like that can be a uh, symptom of um, sleep apnea. You may not even realize that they yeah, actually have yeah. another issue. That's right. So it may be, it may present not as sleep apnea, but as a complication of some other thing. Like, you know, people have recurrent heart failures or heart arrhythmias. You know, then you have to look at and see if sleep apnea is causing it. Now, who can be affected by sleep apnea? Are there certain demographics of people that are affected more? Yes, the, I mean, sleep apnea is a disease of obesity, they say, but um, it, it happens in obese people more commonly, but people who are not obese can also develop sleep apnea because of the, the, the way the upper anatomy is built in them. So if, uh, if somebody who is not obese but is snoring and having daytime sleepiness, they should get checked too. What about men, women, more so men? So men, it's more common in men, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's more common as you age. It's more common if your neck circumference is above a certain diameter. Um, okay. Yeah. And then, are there some other symptoms that we haven't talked about? Um, you were, I see something in, on here about a 17-inch neck. What, what right. Does that so, have to do if with your it? neck circumference is more than 17 inches in men and 15 in women, that's been shown to have put them at high risk of sleep apnea, have, have, having sleep apnea. Really? Yeah. And, and does that have to do with obesity, or do they know why? Sometimes people are not obese, but they're just their neck circumference is high. They're just well built. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Interesting. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about the treatment. So I know if you know if someone is diagnosed, there are ways though to treat sleep apnea. Can you talk about that? Yeah, sure. The, I mean, first you need to diagnose it. So you need to go through uh, a sleep study where mm -hmm. we monitor, you know, your sleep waves, the breathing pattern, the oxygen levels, the heart rate. We can put all these things together and say, you know, what level of or what severity of sleep apnea they have. And that's when a person actually goes and spends the spends night. Spends the night, right? the night there, and you know, they, people might think they may not sleep with all those wires, but believe me, most people sleep. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, once we put all these things together and diagnose with sleep apnea, then we, um, you know, discuss the treatment option. The most common treatment is something called. CPAP, which stands for Continuous Positive Airway Pressure. And you brought so, so I got some right? stuff here. So this, um, it's delivered through one of these kinds of masks. You know, a simple mm -hmm. mask like this, or the different kinds of masks. And that goes up that the goes nose? right up the nose like this. Really? Like okay. This. Yeah. And um, and that just that delivers just, oxygen. Yeah. This this is connected to a small machine that blows air to the back of the throat and splints the throat open so the throat doesn't collapse and gets any structure that's in the way out of the, 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 the breathing tube. So people can breathe normally without collapsing their snow. So they don't snore, they don't stop breathing, and they get their normal amount of oxygen all through the night and they wake up fresh. Now I know there are people who can't sleep with those and there are other options, right? Yeah, it all depends on how bad the sleep apnea mm -hmm. is. If, if your sleep apnea is mild, you can use something called a dental device. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have it custom built by a dentist, or sometimes you can buy it off of the internet. 
and that works for mild sleep apnea. And there are surgeries for patients who don't tolerate this, but you really need to uh, select the patients for surgeries because it's not uniformly successful. Okay, Dr. Reddy, thank you for being here and for explaining that. And of course, if you think you might have sleep apnea or you aren't sure, uh, that's how you can contact CHI St. Vincent for more information.